Hello. Someone may have died in your family. Maybe it was your mother, father, sister, brother, uncle, aunt, whomever. Maybe your best friend. Okay. You may feel hurt. Also, you may feel God is wrong for allowing that person to die. You may be so mad that you are doubting your relationship with Jesus Christ, as in, why even serve him? I prayed for that person to be healed or whatever, but that person died anyway. So if Jesus is going to allow people I love and care about to die, why even live for him? Look, don't we all, don't many of us, won't many of us die? Won't many of us die? So whether you die of cancer, diabetes, or I guess if this is possible, die peacefully without any problems, I don't know if that is possible. No matter how you die, look, even if you get healed one million times, don't you have to die? Unless you are like Elijah and Enoch and you are taken up to heaven, then I guess you won't die at that point. I guess. But, please listen. Let's say you prayed for your mother to not die. And let's say for 20 for 20 years straight, every year, God allows, God heals your mother. Don't your mother have to die? Do you believe we are going to stay in this existence how things are now? Do you believe we are going to stay in this existence forever? You may know the truth of this, but for some reason, you may feel like God is wrong for allowing your loved one to die, which makes no sense. Makes absolutely no sense to where you may be willing to turn your back against God and fully commit yourself to sin. Makes no sense. Why are you mad at God? Why? We have to die. My dad have to die. My mom have to die. I believe, well, I believe they will have to die unless something happens. But I believe many of us will die. I don't think we are here to be here in this existence forever. I believe there will be an end to how this world is. So if that be the case, if someone dies, that is normal, right? I can see if someone dies and
and let's say you feel hurt. Okay, good. I believe that is normal. Let's say you are crying about that. I think that is normal. But to where you begin to, if this be you, to where you begin to curse God and start saying rude things to him because someone died, I think that is a bit too far. People are going to die. Yes, you can cry. Yes, you can feel, I guess, upset. But don't stay that way. I am probably going to die. How I am now, I am not going to live as I am for in this body, I guess I can say, forever. Right? So, yes, it may hurt for your mom to die, your dad, your sister, your brother, your cousin, so on and so on. It may hurt but you have to move on back in i think 2005 my uncle died and i was not so close to him but i was hurt for a while but i had to move on i believe it was 2005 was it i think so either 2004 no i think it was 2005 years ago but I had to move on you have to move on yes you can remember that person if you are able to you can think about the good times okay but don't start blaming God don't start having an attitude toward God like, I hate you, God, and you are so wicked and evil. Don't start going toward that way. See, I think this is one of the reasons why it is important to read the Bible. I think if you read the Bible, and I am not saying I do it every single day, but I believe if you read the Bible and listen to proper teachings of the Bible, and if you are willing, I believe your head will be on straight with the help of the Holy Spirit, I believe. So many of us, I believe, are going to die. Many Christians probably will have to be persecuted. Yes, we can pray against it, but ultimately, I believe many of us will be persecuted. So that is life. Accept how life is, especially if it is something that we have to endure because from my understanding, if God sets it for Christians to be persecuted, what can we do? Yes, we can pray, we can fast and stuff like that. Ultimately, some Christians may have to die from mistreatment. Okay. I think that is so true. So please read the Bible. Place your focus on God. Because how is it, look, how is it going to benefit you by turning your back against God? Like how, man, how is it going to help you? I am mad at God, so I am going to ignore him and I am going to go my own way. You know, that kind of reminds me of like a, 
what do you call it? Like a disobedient child. Or there is another word I want to use. Like a misbehaved child. What is that called? Ah, I can't think of it right now. Let's say a disobedient, stubborn child. Like just doing or just being, just misbehaving and let me stop here. God bless you.